Hello kids, let us define a prime number. But before then, did you know what this? This is what we call a number line. The origin is zero. If you move to the right, you have positive numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and whatever. If you move to the left hand side of zero, you have minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, whatever. Then from zero, this is zero, right? And anything to the right is what we call whole numbers. This are our whole numbers. Then from one and anything to the right, we call this what? Natural. Natural numbers. All right. So you should know that prime numbers fall under natural or whole numbers. Therefore, we don't want these negative numbers. That's number one. Secondly, you should know that all prime numbers are greater than one. So I'm going to cut it like this. You see that? It means that from one and anything to the left hand side cannot be under prime numbers. We have not started defining prime numbers yet. We're only explaining. So if you look at it carefully, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and whatever, fall under natural numbers as well as whole numbers, which means that you can either use natural numbers or whole numbers to define a prime number. But let's start with natural numbers. Since we see that uh, 1 is a natural number, but prime numbers are greater than 1, so you can say that natural numbers, sorry, <laughs> prime numbers are natural numbers greater than 1 that cannot exactly be divided by any natural number except one and itself. So any number you pick here and you realize it can be divided by other numbers apart from one and itself, then that number is not a prime number. So let's test. Let me take two. What are the numbers that can divide two? One can divide two, two can divide two, you no know, any other number. Exactly, I mean exactly. If I have um, a number like 10, if you divide it equally, it will be 5 and 5, right? So this is what we mean by division. Not in a situation where you divide it with a remainder. For instance, if I take 5 and you divide it by 2, I will get 2, 2, but we still have a fraction, right? So this is not the division we mean. We mean this type. It can be divided exactly. So... 2 cannot be divided by any other number exactly except 1 and 2. Therefore, 2 is a prime number. 3. 3 can divide, be divided by 1 and it can be divided by 3. No, any other number that can be divided exactly without remainder. 4. 4 can be divided by 1. 4 can be divided by 2. 4 can be divided by 4. You see 3 numbers without remainder. So 4 is not a prime number. 5 can be divided by 1, it can be divided by 5. So 5 is a prime number. So you see, this is a prime, this is a prime, this is a prime, this is a prime. If you move on, you have 11, you have 13, you have 17, you have 19. All right. So natural numbers greater than 1, that cannot exactly be divided by any other number. I'm not going to write it, but if you want to listen again, you can repeat the video that cannot be divided by any natural number except one and itself. You can also say it is a whole number greater than one that cannot be exactly divided by any other whole number except one and itself. All right, this is the first definition. And secondly, you can say that a prime number is, you should know it is greater than one. It is any natural number greater than one that has only two factors. What do we mean by factors? I think I can define factors in two different ways. Any two numbers you can multiply to get another number. These two numbers must have to be the factors of that number. For instance, um, if I take 12, I know that I can multiply two by six to get 12, right? I can multiply three by four to get 12, I can multiply what again? I think 1 and 12. So you can see that 1, 3, 2, 6, 4, and 12, all of these numbers 
are factors of 12. So for it to be a prime number, it has to have only two factors. Not in this case where we have six factors of 12. You understand? For example, if I have 2, I can only multiply 1 by 2 to get 2. So 1 and 2 are factors of 2. And then another way I can define it, I can say that factors of any number are those set of numbers that can divide that number without remainder. Yes, they are factors of that number. For instance, 12, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. All of these numbers can divide 12 without remainder. So all of these six numbers are factors of 12. Anytime you multiply two numbers, you get another number. Those two numbers are said to be factors of that number. So in a situation where you have only two, then that number is said to be a prime number. So I think I have explained what a prime number is. If you define it as any number, you are wrong. If you say it is an integer, you are wrong. If you say what? So many things. You have, it has to be a natural number or a whole number. Also, it has to be greater than 1. Just like if you are defining an even number, you say any number that can be divided by 2. No, because we know that 0 0.4 can also be divided by 2 without remainder, which is 0 0.2. So can we say that 0 0.4 is an even number? No. So for you to define an even number, you have to say that uh, it is an integer. So this is prime number for you. Yes.